Finally, it's happening. With regards to insecurity, stakeholders are preferring solution to the banditry, killing, kidnapping going on in Oyo State. So it's really happening, my wonderful people. You know, Oyo State uh, of late in the southern region has been on a very high alert with regards to a lot of insecurity going on there. For starters, what happened in Igogo was a very serious blow to people in the south. Please don't say it was not my vicinity, so it's not my problem. No, that would not be a true spirit of oneness, unity, and a single struggle to ensure that we get what rightfully belongs to us. It is important that when things happen to people around you, you don't just go and say, well, it's not my business. Uh, it's just, it, me and my family, we are okay. So, I mean, it is what it is. That's not life. That's not the way to go. We must all see ourselves together as one and work as one entity to try to prefer solution no matter what the problem is. This is where we get true liberty. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. Finally, in security, stakeholders prefer solution to banditry, kidnapping, killing going on in or your states. The level of insecurity raging from headsmen attack, banditry, kidnapping, rival courts and gangs clash, and armed robbers are giving people of Ibadan, the state capital of Oyo State, and some communities sleepless nights. The increasing rate of insecurity in Oyo has become a source of concern to the people. It so turns that even people from outside the state are deterring about coming to Oyo State particularly Ibadan, the state capital, and other political, zoopolitical zone of the state, like Ibarapo, Okeogo. This is because of the high rate of headsmen attack, kidnapping, rival gang clash that have claimed many lives and many property, vandalization, and utter destructions. In the last four months, no fewer than 60 persons have been kidnapped in the state Though many of the victims have been released, they were released after a ransom worth millions of naira were paid. Among those kidnapped in the state include the quarry workers, farmers, commuters, female soldier, banker, factory workers, hotelers, head breeders, wife of the youth leader of the All Progressive Congress, among others. Four people included two bankers, a palm wine type and another resident were kidnapped along Ejebu Ode, Ibadan Road. In March, the same month, gunmen stormed a farm in Eferdeti, local government area, and kidnapped a security guard. One person was also killed during the invasion of a farm. Another three persons, among whom are couples and a farmer, were kidnapped at Sanye and Soko area same march the couple we adopted inside their farm located in agba bomejo Row village the sanyo area why the other farmers were adopted in the Sako area of ibadon similarly four people among whom were three workers of the quarry site and another resident were kidnapped in april also three women among whom are female soldier were also kidnapped they were adopted in Okwa village along the Ijebo Ode Ibadan Road. A few days later, some unknown gunmen stormed Igbarapo a geographical political zone and kidnapped no fewer than seven persons. A day after the kidnap of the seven persons, gunmen hijacked an 18-seater commercial bus along the Igabora. Ereke Road and kidnapped all the passengers, including the driver. In Obomosho, gunmen disguised a uh, lodger and same month in April, stormed Ijamo, a town in Oshogbo, Joe, political zone, and kidnapped nine persons. Among these were kidnapped, among those kidnapped were some other persons all there, and a lot of things so numerous to mention at this point in time. Speaking on insecurity in the state, Halaji Balogun of Ibadan land has a major has said the major challenges humbling the acquiring of effective security 
equipment. He wanted family heads and ballets in Ibadan and the state at large to be more responsive to their domain, reducing criminal through periodic meeting and engaging with the people to say exactly when things happen so everybody know what is happening together. The Minister of Youth and Sports Development Chief Sunday Dari also decried the increasing spark of insecurity in Ibadan along the, uh, along, among other areas while condemning the problem right now ongoing. Speaking further, the insecurity in your state human rights lawyer, Mr. Femi Falana, called for President Muhammadu Buhari to take urgent steps to prevent this unknown gunman from kidnapping, killing, raping, and even much more going on. But the people, the stakeholders, have come up with a solution to say that it starts from them. They should not look to Buhari or this government, and it is clear that they've got nothing to prefer or solution to give. But that everyone must ensure that they look after their vicinity, look after their people. It is now a call and a cry for everyone to have regular town hall meetings with their people, discuss the state of affairs, see where they are, what is happening next, and where they are being headed, what could be done to the situations on ground. With that being done, many people will be able to relate and to say exactly what they feel or the things they have noticed of late that could potentially be a guide to all that is going on in the States. So my people, there you have it. The stakeholders have said it starts from them. As little as the local government chairman, as little as everybody being on top of the game, working tirelessly to ensure that, you know, everybody prefers solution to the current predicament, we go a long way. He also said the best thing to do is not to wait for the government. For the government are so preoccupied by what they want to be preoccupied by and that they don't pay attention to the people. What will really make a real decisive and a real solution is if everybody gets on board and do the right thing and do not allow, you know, what is going on to derail them. But everybody do what is right. We know look after we look after ourselves. That's what is preaching basically. Looking at after ourselves rather than depending on the government alone. I think that's a good way to go. Guys, what do you think? These are the uh, meetings held by the stakeholders after taking uh, account of all that has happened in recent times, in the last four months precisely. Leave us a comment. we really like to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.